my first morning going to work. As per usual, didn't get much sleep, went to bed late, and woke up really early before my alarm left, because that always happens when I have something new going on. And see here, I'm wearing my favorite shorts that I've had for like five or six years. But it's time to let them go and use them for painting. Because I look like a homeless man going around wearing them. It's quite an emotional day for the shorts. God, I can't be asked doing this at all. I really had to force myself to make this video because it's had a fucking shit day. My first day at work, it was actually okay at work. Just can't, I can't even be fucking ass going through everything that I have to say right now because I've actually done this video three times on my phone already. It all turned out shit and people were ringing on the phone and everything halfway through and it just didn't work out. So I'm doing it on the camera now. So I just, I've said all this before. Like, so I'm like, oh my God, I can't be assed. Got money in the door now. Today was my first day working as a painter in Toronto. I arrived there at 10 to 8. I was started working at 8. And we finished an hour earlier. We went to finish at 5 and we finished at 4 o'clock, which was good. So I said, hey, I got some extra time here. How about I call some of my buddies back home in Ireland and actually other, uh, Australia. One's in Australia and one's actually in Spain. So yeah, I actually rang Ireland, Spain and Australia. And I must have been on the phone for about an hour and a half. I also went to Dollarama actually whilst on the phone and bought a couple of bits that I need for the house. So after all that, came back to the house and next thing, Luke was gone. And I couldn't get in because the door was locked. Did I mention I don't have a key? We don't have a key, we only have, we only have two keys. And I was not one of those people who had the key today. Luke was meant to be at home all day but then he got called into work. If I hadn't called those people, I would have made it home in time before Luke got called. So damn you. Damn you friends, you know who you are. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. You know what you've done. You've ruined my day, you've ruined my evening. I really have, I really ruined my day, ruined my evening. As soon as I couldn't get in here, my day just snowballed into just shit. I was just outside, I tried to make the video three times and I couldn't do that because it kept fecking up on me and I just, oh, doing the phones ringing and all this sort of crack so I couldn't get it done. And then finally I said, fuck, I'm gonna eat shit. And then I ate shit food. I was like, oh, do, 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 coming home. I was like, okay, I'm gonna make some really healthy food now and I get home and all this sort of crack. I'm so happy, got to finish now early and now I'm just starting to be like, Fuck this. Oh, not just that, because it was my first day when I like, I don't know, when I was going, when I came to Canada first, when I move anywhere, when I have something really new going on that I might be excited about or not even excited about. For some reason, I can't sleep that night and then I always wake up extra early in the morning before the alarm. Happened this time. I only got four hours sleep last night. I always say I only got this last night, I only got this last night, but I did only get four hours sleep last night. But that was okay, it worked, it was fine. I was like, you're not tired, you're not tired, you're not tired, you're not tired, you're not tired. A friend of mine called John Hodgins said, if you keep saying that to yourself when you're tired, you'll convince yourself that you're not tired. And it works. Not every time, but a lot of the time it works. It helps, it helps, it sure helps. <sighs> Where were they? But then I ended up getting a hot dog and then a sub and I just wanna just pig out and eat shit. I feel like shit, tired, cranky, and other things happened. It was just other little bits. It was just one thing after another. I spent loads of money on that food and then I got a drink and it cost me six dollars something and I thought it was gonna be like three fucking dollars. I just bought it anyway, like a Salvero drink. And when I went to Dollaram and I got all my stuff and came back, I ended up walking all the way to the very top floor where that ladder is to get up to the roof which is shut that I can't get up to and I hung the shopping up there because I couldn't be asked bringing it downtown to me, Chris and Newt to get the key. So it's hanging up there now, I couldn't even be asked going up now getting it. I actually walked up the stairs and walked all the way downstairs. That's 20 strides of stairs that I walked down after hanging the thing and I climbed up half of it as well and oh, there's just so much more stuff, you know. It was just a hatch of been there kind of thing. All in all, work went okay, but my day has just turned to shit and I feel like shit. And I'm pretty sure this is the most I've probably ever swore in a video. Except maybe heads or tails. You should go watch that. That video will be up here. Check it out. Look, I just want to end it there on day one. I'll tell you more. Hopefully tomorrow's gonna to be better, day two, and fill you in a bit more on the actual work aspect and not my terrible evening. So, 
day two. times didn't answer wrote them a message and no reply wrote on Facebook wrote to Wilfredo on Facebook never messaged me back but look it was only one day I was talking to my friend Megan there earlier on and I was saying that you know if it was a week then I'd be really pissed but it wasn't and I was not enjoying myself painting either I just I don't like painting it's very very boring and I was in pain with the rashes in my arms. But look, that was gonna happen no matter what job I got. I never really liked the other guy, but I really did like Wilfredo. He's actually a DJ, his name is DJ Willie something. Um, I guess I'll put it up there. Um, go follow him on Instagram, everybody, he's a DJ. Wilfredo was nice, it was the other guy. Wilfredo actually didn't even do anything, he actually just like, he, got, he just wrote to me and he was the one who called me and stuff, but when I was on the job, he was just walking around, you know? Go follow him on Instagram. <laughs> Wilfredo's nice. Alfredo. Willie. 
DJ Willy, yeah. I guess it's back to the drawing board. Try and get some more jobs. I wrote SJ Painting, a very bad review on House Star. That's there. All right, read it up. See what it says. It was actually my honest opinion. I, I gave the other guys, I started with three other guys. They were excellent painters, they had years of experience, and I said they were good, but it was just the guy who was running the show. Was not <gasps> happy with him at all. Also guys, I got my work permit, my two year visa. It actually came, which is brilliant. I'm gonna have a little video about that. Let's just say that didn't go too smoothly either. <laughs> Nothing ever does, but it always works out in the end. Always works out in the end. Just have a really hard way of going about it. But hey, you could fall in love with the destination, or you can fall in love with the journey, man. Fuck the destination. Who needs a destination when you've got the journey? When the journey is all over the place, the hard way. Man, I'm a real boy. <laughs> also, thanks for watching the vlog. If you haven't seen my last video, which is about me getting this job, the link will be up here. Also, if you'd like to give me some love, you can subscribe down the bottom right there and uh, ring the bell and write me a comment. I like getting the comments. The comments are good for my YouTube videos, good for my YouTube channel. I just love seeing them. And all you guys that leave me comments all the time, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You want to know what happened? I killed him. De I did. This is all that remains of them because I killed him. They are now dead. Silence, I killed you.